Let's take a look at the MSB Users section. This section includes all of the employees in your MSB that you've already invited to join your company. There are five columns in the list. The user's email or contact, the name, the position, for example, system engineer, the app version and devices that the user has Mikey installed on, as well as the status, such as administrator. To search for a user, you can search using the bar at the top right hand side of the list. To invite users, you can do it manually or by importing them using different methods available. To re-invite a user that has not yet joined the company with an invitation spending tag next to their name, you can choose to uninvite them or relaunch the invite by right-clicking on the user's name. To delete a user, right-click anywhere on the user's row and select Delete User. For a quick preview of a user's personal information, simply hover over to the user's contact and a preview button will appear. Click on it. A window pop-up on the right-hand side of the screen will show you an overview of the user's personal information. For additional information on a specific user, click on the user's name to access the user info section. And on the left-hand side of the screen, you will see an overview of the user's personal info such as their name, position, email address, and privilege level. On the right-hand side of the item user info page, you have access to different tabs. The user info tab includes general information about the user. The user items, such as a list of items assigned to this user, the user groups, the list of groups that this user is a part of, user item folders, the list of item folder that this user has access to, and user policies, the list of all the policies applied to this user. The items access page allows you to manage what item a user can or cannot access. To assign an item to this user, simply check the box associated to the item and click save. Similarly, to unassign the item, uncheck the box. You can choose in your settings whether passwords and credit card details are shown or hidden by default. You can also update it manually using the drop-down list at the right of the item. To search for a specific item, use the search bar on the top right-hand side of the items access page. You can also create a password, payment card, or secure note directly from that page by clicking on the create item. In the group access tab, you'll find the list of the MSP groups created in your MSP account. This page allows you to control who has access to the groups by simply checking the box next to the group and clicking save. Similarly, to remove a user from the group, uncheck the box. To search for a specific group, use the search bar on the upper right side of the group access page. You can also create your own groups by clicking on create group located in the right hand corner of the page. Even if you're an admin, you'll need to assign the group created to yourself in order to see it. In the item folders access tab, you will find a list of all the item folders created in your MSP account. This page will allow you to control who has access to the item folder by simply checking the box next to the item folder and clicking save. Similarly, to unassign an item folder, uncheck the box. Even if you're an admin, you will also need to assign the item folder to yourself in order to see it in your account. You can choose in your settings whether passwords and credit card details are shown or hidden. You can also update it manually using the drop-down list at the right of the item. To search for a specific item folder, use the search bar at the top right of the item folders access tab. You can also create an item folder directly from that page by clicking on item folder. That's located on the top right hand side of the page. To add more than one item, you can learn how to do that by checking out the link in the description. Security policies help you control where, when, and how your users can access accounts assigned to them. From the Security Policies Access tab, you will find the list of all security policies set up in your MSB account. To assign a security policy to a user, simply check the box next to the security policy's name and hit the Save button. To unassign it, simply uncheck the box. To search for a specific security policy, use the search bar located at the top right side of the Security Policies Access tab. To create a policy, click on Create a Policy. From here, you'll be able to choose one of three options, location-based policy, time-based policy, or IP-based policy. To go back to the MSB Users section, click on Users at the top left of the user card or click on MSB Users. Now that you've mastered how to use the MSB Users section, let's move on.